The search continues for a man accused of killing a Nassau County deputy. Patrick McDowell has been on the run since Friday morning. Since 6 a.m., we've seen deputies in everything from cars and trucks to boats and large armored vehicles. The search is centered along Sandy Ford Road off US 301 in Callahan. Good Monday morning to you. McDowell is accused of shooting deputy Josh Moyers during a traffic stop. Moyers did pass away yesterday. Heartbreaking details here. He was 29. He was planning his wedding with his fiance Ivy. News for Jax has several crews in Nassau County this morning as deputies search for McDowell. We're going to get to reporter Ashley Harding first. Ashley, this situation is much more active and fluid than it was just a few hours ago. We have hundreds of law enforcement officers from all over the state who are taking part in this massive manhunt. We certainly do. Vic and Lauren, good morning to you both. Yeah, and it really shows you the vast difference that a few hours can make. I'll step out of the way and just show you right here. What you're looking at is actually the most quiet we have seen it in the last half hour, 45 minutes or so. All you're seeing right there are the vehicles, but this is going pretty far back. There are so many vehicles going way over that way. We want to go ahead and show you some video that we were able to capture. We just saw so many agencies. We saw Bradford County, even as far as Marion County, Clay County. County, Nassau County, of course, JSO as well. We've seen the dive team. We have seen officers holding lot, what appear to be long guns. We just know that there is so much going on right now. They are searching this area. We do know because we showed you live a second ago. We just see the vehicles. We know now that that search is ongoing. They are out of their vehicles. They are in the woods. They are searching. Looking on a map, we do know that there is a creek back there. So as I mentioned, we saw the dive team. That leads us to believe that they are are searching those possibilities as well. There's just so much area to cover and lots of brush. It really just goes to show you what they are working with here and at trying to comb through more evidence, find any more any sign of Patrick McDowell. You know, uh, the Nassau County Sheriff's Office shared these images of him because they really want people to take a close look to know what he looks like, to know those uh, defining features that could set him apart from others, and that includes um, his tattoos as well. Uh, there is one it appears to be on his arm, and there's another distinctive one that, uh, that is on his back as well. That man is wanted. He is considered armed and dangerous, wanted for the murder of this Nassau County deputy. The search now, now well into its fourth day. So still very much a sense of urgency in trying to find this man to, to, to bring him into custody, of course. And, you know, the Nassau County Sheriff's Office has said it multiple times. If you see him, if you know his whereabouts, anything that could point law enforcement in the direction of finding him to please reach out as quickly as possible. They want to find this man and to take him into custody. You are advised not to approach him yourself. Once again, he's considered armed and dangerous. We are staying here and we will keep you updated on this uh, massive law enforcement presence that, uh, as I mentioned, started to slow down a little bit, but that's only because the action back there has picked up. Reporting live in Nassau County, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, thank you. News Jack reporter Brianna Andrews is also in Nassau County this morning. Brianna, several county schools are on a modified lockdown today because of that search for McDowell, the possible dangers in the area. The lockdown does bring some changes for students, but they are well protected, according to school administrators. This entire area is infected by this, uh, affected by this search. I'm going to step out the way. You actually can see a sign right behind me saying NASA for Moyers. We are just one block away from the school, right around the corner from Callahan Elementary, where there's a heavy police presence. We've been seeing police come in and out of these two parking lots, heading out to patrol as the search for Patrick McDowell continues in schools such as Callahan Elementary and West Nassau High are on a partial lockdown as well as a few others nearby. So the superintendent put out a call to parents last night. Take a listen. If you choose to keep your child home on Monday, the absence will be excused. I want to thank you for your patience and cooperation as we work to ensure our students are safe. I also want to thank the Nassau County Sheriff's Office for their dedication and diligence during this difficult time in our community. Have a safe and enjoyable evening. 
And Callahan Middle and Callahan Intermediate are also on a modified lockdown. So what this means is that students will not switch classes, switch between classes. Buses are still in their regular route. Roads are still open and it's not going to be really what it was on Friday when so many were closed. We're going to give you another look of just the scene out here again. This whole area is impacted by the search and we're going to continue been, in the last couple of minutes we've been seeing law enforcement from SWAT teams out of state law enforcement and also several different patrol cars coming in and out of this area we're going to continue to monitor that as we continue to stay out here but in the meantime the superintendent did make it clear that parents did not have to send their students to class today if they did not choose to they are allowed to have an excuse absent under absence under these circumstances reporting live from nassau county brianna andrews channel 4 the local station